for stopping by. My name is Audra and this is Fashion for Living. I have my daughter holding the phone because my tripod is messed up. So we're making do with what we have today. For you today, I have a boho western type Amazon top a try on. I'm really excited about it. I'm just going to wear shorts through the whole video. It is finally really, really hot here and shorts just seem like the right thing to have on right now. The first up is this little graphic tee. I'm getting more into graphic tees and I was searching for um, a cactus tee and this was my favorite one that I found. I love the different cacti. I like that it's more of a muted tee on a um, neutral t-shirt and um, I think it has a cute saying, keep your face to the sun. And I have it on with just shorts, like I was saying. Um, but you could dress this up. You could wear it with jeans. I mean, you could wear it with joggers. You could wear really casual, everywhere in between. So I feel like you just can't go wrong with just a basic tee. And this one's super affordable. And it's a very nice quality tee. And then I have paired it with my um, little Ariat Cruisers. Um, but like I always say, you can change your shoes and kind of change the whole feel of this outfit. Next up is this little tie-dye kimono. I stumbled onto this and I loved it because it is a muted tie-dye. Tie um, I feel like a lot of the tie-dyes that you see, um, especially in kimono form, are really, really bright colors. Um, and you know, that's just not me. So I really, really like this one. It's super lightweight. It is stitched down right there. Um, I will say that this material um, is very thin and gauzy. So um, I did notice like where this is tacked down, there was a tiny little hole where they put the needle through. Um, not a deal breaker for me, but I always wanna mention that kind of stuff if I notice it. Um, and one of my favorite ways to wear a kimono is with um, just a tee. I just think it looks so cute with just a tee and shorts. And my favorite thing about kimonos is they kind of cover the backside when you're wearing shorter shorts. So I have popped on a hat and just some slides. Um, they would This outfit would look really cute with the cruisers or the moccasins that I had on earlier if you wanted it to be a little bit more casual. Um, but love this outfit. This hat is new. It's from Urban Outfitters. Um, it is a dupe for the Lack of Color hat, I believe, or um, GG Pip, I think, is another one that makes hats similar to this. And this one was $50. It's okay. Um, I'm happy with it. I still think eventually I want to get the Lack of Color one. Um, I will give me just a second and I will show you my Amazon hat that's like this. have worn, I think now for a year. This is a really, really amazing hat. Oops, I pushed it in there. Um, for, I think it's under 20, like $17 prime. Um, mine was really, if I can show you, um, the material on it was starting to kind of fuzz up. I should probably take a lint um, thing to that. I hadn't even thought of that. That's what I need to do is get one of those lint um, cutters. And I think that would probably fix this. Um, but anyways, regardless, I wanted to kind of upgrade my hat. And so that's why I was drawn to purchasing this one because it was a budget friendly version of the brands that I mentioned. And like I said, it's okay. I think it looks really, really cute. I have a bigger head. Um, I wear a seven and eight to seven and a quarter and cowboy hats, um, depending on the style and it fits me, but um, I feel like it should go a little bit further down on my head and I can't put it down. It just kind of depends on where you like to wear your hats at. This one I got in a large size. I did put uh, foam on the inside or it has the drawstring that you can adjust it. This one does too. It has a drawstring so you can adjust the size. But um, I like how this one sets on my head a little better. But like I said, I'm really happy with it. Um, but the other one is definitely on my wish list. Next up is this button up. This is something that I have seen on Amazon for a long time and I've always wanted to try it. Um, the pictures make this seem 
so cute. Um, I'm on the fence about it. It is a polyester spandex mix. Um, you know, the pictures generally on Amazon are a mixture of what the item actually is and then maybe the item that they're knocking off, if that makes sense. And so to me, in the first couple of pictures, this looks more woven. This is printed on the fabric. Um, I can't remember if I said this is a polyester spandex mix. Um, it feels really cool on the skin inside, but I'm afraid out in the heat, this would be hot. It wouldn't be very breathable. Um, I am in a size large. I read the reviews and said that if you want it to fit oversized like the picture, make sure and size up. So um, I agree with that. This to me fits more like um, my mediums would in um, my button ups. Um, this does have a roll tab sleeve. I, If I was keeping it, I would cut that off because I can't stand that. Let's see how long the sleeves are. <clears throat> So not bad. Um, that's the review said that, you know, if you want the sleeves to be long enough as, as well, you need to order up. So um, not bad. I'm just on the fence. What do you guys think? I, I'm just not sold on this being printed on the fabric. I love the design of it. It reminds me of a um, vintage Western shirt from the 70s. As with that with a button up. I love to do a little half tuck with my shorts and then I've just slipped on some mules. Um, I think it, this looks like a cute, casual, somewhat more polished way to wear your shorts. Um, but like I said, let me know what you think of this shirt. I'm, I'm just kind of on the fence. Get it, get it. Next up, the first of two fringe t-shirts. I am obsessed with this one. It reminds me of something from the 90s. Um, I like that these are um, more like a lacy tassel. Makes them easy, really easy to wear. This is a super nice quality t-shirt. The sleeves are nice and long. Um, this is a little bit more on the crop side. On me, I could just barely um, get it tucked in. This would look so good with... Um, high-waisted denim, like super high-waisted denim. These shorts are high-waisted on me, um, but I'm thinking about like my um, my rib cage Levi's. I think that would look really, really cool. Um, I just have some flats on, um, but I just think this is such a fun tee that you could dress up or down. And I don't know, I just, I just love it. I love the retro feel. And the fact that it's just a t-shirt. I'm just a kind of a t-shirt girl most of the time. So it's just kind of a fun way to make my t-shirt a little bit more exciting. All right, last but not least, I have saved my favorite Amazon find for last. And it is this tassel tee. This comes in black as well. Um, I'm in a size at medium and I love, love the way it fits. I'm obsessed. Um, it has super long T sleeves, which I just love. Um, I did steam. I did spend quite a bit of time steaming this and I actually used a comb and kind of gently combed down the tassels and seamed them to get them to all lay really nice. Um, so the shirt is definitely high maintenance, but it's so, so worth it. Super, super cute with shorts. This would be really cute with a high-waisted skirt definitely jeans. I mean, I would just wear this with anything because it is awesome. <laughs> and it's in a neutral color, so you could wear, really wear it with anything, pair it with anything. I have on my little snakeskin booties, um, cowboy boots, of course, flats, any kind of shoes. I love it with my hat and a little bit of turquoise. Such a, a fun tee. Thank you so much for watching and sticking with us. Ellie is trying her best to hold it really still. I am going to run over to Amazon and see if I can find something to upgrade my tripod system. Let me know which top was your favorite. I am working on an affordable athletic wear um, try on. It's been pretty challenging. The stuff that I find is either sold out or almost sold out. 
So I'm still, still working on that and um, I will see you in the next video. We accidentally hit the off button. What were we saying? Um, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for hanging with us, for sticking with us. This is a, a fun thing that I do um, that kind of supports my clothing habit. And it really does bring me so much joy to interact with you all and to share my love of clothes. This summer, the spring has been so crazy. Um, it was our, I guess, your big brother, my son's birthday, 4th of July. So it's just been a little extra crazy and so is life right now. So I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>